Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? GG's in the house, but OBS is taking a dump on my PC today, unfortunately. Uh, camera's not working, stream deck's not working. I gotta do everything on the manual side here, folks. So, deepest apologies, deepest apologies indeed, but I hope you had yourselves a wonderful weekend. Um, yes, I'm opening up the game to the community, so if you want to uh, join me, jump down into the Discord. Well, let me know in chat first, then jump into the Avalon Discord and uh, i'll get y'all hooked up and into the channel here with me and we can get ourselves some started we're going to do the maritime campaign here folks um as you saw from the video earlier today i went through did a little bit of the road works in order to get ourselves a little bit of cash get ourselves moving a little bit forward hey bud how are you doing this morning <sighs> hey stressful day i do not understand what the heck is going on with obs Stream Deck doesn't want to work, Logitech Cam doesn't want to work, nothing wants to work here today. I've restarted my system like six times. I'm thinking that the PC needs another complete uh, overhaul. Yeah. And do all the drivers and everything for the Logitech and then put them all back in. But it might have something to do with the fact that I have a Logitech wheel, a Logitech 3D Pro controller, a uh, flight stick type thing, uh... Uh, Xbox 360 all hooked up so I have no idea absolutely no idea but what's going on why nothing works I even got myself into my orange uh, uh, vest here and everything else so my high vis vest for today but it doesn't look like we're going to be uh, showing that effect on screen Dang it. oh well what can you do what can you do right Nah. Uh, well, like, like I said, I hope everybody's had themselves a wonderful weekend. You got about a minute left. Get your drinks, get your snacks, get your butts in the comfiest position so we can kick back, relax, unwind, and enjoy today's show. So, like I said, it's uh, open to the community. We finally got a game that the community can join in on. So definitely um, let me know in chat if you wish to join. And then uh, head on over to the Avalon Discord, jump into one of the uh, chat channels, and then I'll drag you down and into the live stream channel that's locked up. So. Yeehaw! Yeah, that was the problem, but even the rollbacks aren't working with the Stream Deck. I've done the Stream Deck OBS plugin uh, for the tw uh, 27, and then I was like, okay, fine, that's not working. And Stream Deck says, oh, we have an update for uh, OBS uh, 28, so I'm like, all right, well, I'll go ahead and do that then, right? So. Uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta do all this manually. Morning, Reaper! Morning! Okay, yeah, I'm having to do everything manually here, folks, so... Please, uh, uh bear with me while we go through all this, because I do not have a stream deck here today. But, I am in-game, so, uh, like I said, it is open today, so if anybody wishes to join, let me know. Uh, I will go ahead and get you hooked up. Now, uh, just go into the, uh, Discord, into the open mic chat area down at the bottom of the, uh, the left-hand side menu and uh, come join come and join so we got to look at our gerbs now we do have a contract here now I had one more road that I was able to do last night but it's not showing let's do a refresh it's not showing again come on I should have took that job should have done it Yeah, there was another road that was available last night. Um, you guys saw it on the, the video. But here we go. Maritime tourism. We are going to start off at the boardwalk, it looks like. With the right investments, the tourists will come here in droves. The beach and the ocean are our allies in this. The sandy ambience. The once inviting beach promenade is unfortunately hardly recognizable anymore. It needs clearing up if we want tourists and local to start visiting the beach again. Eh, okay, okay. The only thing I don't like is um, this tacky pallet furniture. Why? Why? No. Bring in some real furniture. I hate this pallet stuff. <laughs> All right, we are going to change it over to the high portion of the job. Gives you more experience, gives you more monies. And let's see, we got uh, land development. Uh, looks like we got to flatten the ground out so we can use any of the dozers, it says. Cool. Construction prep, we got materials delivery, gravel delivery, gravel compaction. So there's lots to do here. Lots of concrete work, sand delivery, sand, uh, soil delivery, sand delivery, soil delivery, ooh, -y. materials delivery, unpacking. Oh boy. 
all right it's gonna be a long one and we're doing it all together ah thank you very much discord or uh bud try exclamation discord and see what happens there uh i'll go back over to the uh the bot here if i can find it do 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 uh bot where are you cloud bot there you go i'm gonna turn cloud bot off and then i'm gonna turn it back on and hopefully within the next uh, five, six minutes, it should give itself a kick in the butt and join us. Yeah, I just I just reset it, but it's going to take like five minutes for it to uh, to fix itself. Because normally it would have a stream elements that popped up by now, like welcome to stream, all that stuff. But it didn't. It didn't work. So let's accept the contract. All right. We're off to the meeting, folks. All right. So let's look on the map. And here's the job. We'll do a fast travel. Come on now. Come on, game. I know that you're streaming and everything else that the, the PC's going, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. All right. Let's go talk to uh, Hop. Oh, it's not Hop. It's the uh, young lady here. Tourism officer. Hello, Mrs. Tourism officer. Hi. I'm happy to see a new face in the industry. Gotcha, bud. I was hired to establish beach tourism for the city as a secure source of revenue and to draw upscale beach visitors and vacationers here. It's a long-term investment and an opportunity to make this city more attractive to its many residents again. Together, we'll make a few changes to transform this bleak place into a beach paradise with paradise. recreational offers and vacation facilities. This beach used to be noted in every tourist guide for this country and has always been a popular meeting place for a stroll along the water. Now, the glamour of the old days has faded and right now. sadly, it no barely looks the same. With, Everywhere, me. there take are with, sandy please. paths, dirt, and decay. I'm happy that your company is accepting the job to bring okay, this place back to, to life. All right, Lord Watch stage is complete, so we need to flatten the area. That means we need a doza. And if we take a look at my company, these are the only vehicles that we own so far. So we have all cat brands. So we have the asphalt compactor, flatbed crane, asphalt paver, the dump truck, and the backhoe loader. I think it's time we picked ourselves up a dozer. Hey, Lori, I'm doing very well. I hope you are having a wonderful time. I enjoyed my weekend. I hope uh, you got to enjoy yours as well. Hey, hey, come on. Press and hold. Thank you. All right, we want to swap out to look for... Dozers. So, now here's the thing. This cat dozer does a great job, but you can't angle the blade. So, this is the one instance where I'm going to purchase an item that isn't a cat product at this time. I much prefer this particular dozer. I do, I do, I do. Um, let's just see now. Go over here. Go pick it up. So no rental fees. We're purchasing. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on with the uh, OBS and the Logitech cameras. I am not the only person who's having this issue. There is tons of uh, peeps that are having the issue. You go to Reddit and there's a giant forum that's on it and everything else. They're telling you to undo all your Logitech software, which means that there goes my wheel, there goes my 3D plate stick, there goes my cameras. Then you gotta remove it from Windows itself, and it's just a big old mess. And uh, I've tried everything. I've tried everything, and nothing's working. So I really don't know what's going on with that. Uh, like I said, I might uh, might be at the point that my computer just is getting to the age where it's like, no dude, no.
I hope everybody had a great weekend. It was fantastic. We played a lot of multiplayer with uh, Bone Juice and uh, Ao Mike. So Friday was Bone Juice, and Saturday was Bone Mike. And myself, we all had a ton of fun. It, it was a reunion of the Syndicate, but we got the Syndicate you know. step that we got to do and if that doesn't work after four and a half months then I got to get some uh, believe it or not it's like a Botox injection they got to give me and what they're going to do is they're going to basically numb the nerve right out so that way I no longer have it feels like somebody's putting a 9 volt battery up against my earlobe all the time Sí, sí. 
Start button. Settings. Uh, audio. Master volume. Take you down to 50%. Yeah, that's clearing my ears out. I can only imagine what you guys are hearing on your end. Into that uh, barrier, my bad. Not too, too bad. We're at seventeen percent already. No, no, no! Don't turn! Don't turn! I'm going straight. Thank you. of the community doesn't matter if you're a member to the channel just a member of the community let me know and uh we'll get y'all hooked up if you want to join in by a bulldozer. <laughs> I've never actually done this type of construction work. I've been in um, uh, steel stud and track uh, roll forming machines. So uh, I don't have too much experience with the heavy equipment other than using farm equipment. That's, I mean, that's not construction equipment, right? I mean, we have a tractor that's got a backhoe extension on a three-point inch. Yes, it does have you know, several attachments like the uh, jackhammer and all that type of good stuff. It's not the same. Not the same. I did already, but yeah, we'll go over here. Try the there. Or settings over here. There we go. Let's try that. Like I said, what works for recording does not work for uh, for streaming for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. But thank you, bud. Thank you for for the uh, heads up, man. I appreciate it. How's the game sounds now? Still lower than the damn game. Okay, hold on. 
settings. Audio. Let's try 20%. See if that's better for y'all. How about now? You guys can hear me now? Everything's much better? So I can do one more setting if I need to. It's on the back end. We're about even now? Okay. Good afternoon, spider -Ed. I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed the multiplayer mayhem that, uh, that, uh, Deuce got us together for this weekend. That was a lot of fun, folks. This game definitely is a multiplayer fun experience. Come on. Lift up. Thank you. all of us on uh, Saturday. Yeah, Mike was able to, to jump in for a little bit. He took a break from uh, trying to get everything all packed up and that for uh, his uh, move to Florida. Yeah, so what happened was, your folks, I tried jumping into uh, OBS in order to get everything all started for stream, and OBS is like, no, I'm not going to stream. It's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean you're not going to do this? What? I order you work. <laughs> he was like, nah, dude, I'm not working today. I'm taking the day off. So I ended up having to uh, uninstall, reinstall OBS. The camera doesn't work anymore, period. Nothing. It's all shades of messed up. I do not know what's going on with OBS. I'm just hoping that it's not uh, uh, my PC. I'm hoping that uh, my PC's not dying. try to push me around Mr. Hill. All right. Let's try knocking that hill as flat as we can. That's a big hill. Now, if you wanted to make some extra money, you could probably come in with a wheel loader and scoop up that hill there in the back and take it to the gravel pit and dump it off and make some extra monies that way. Just saying. There's more than one way to skin a cat make money in this game. Now, I just punched my microphone because I made a left-hand turn. Ow. But yeah, I got the wheel going. I got the 3D Logitech stick. I got the controller, I got, I got a ton of things all hooked up all at once, so. Wasn't an issue with the uh, OBS this weekend, but uh, apparently it turned out to be an issue as of this morning. So, eh. We're making do with what we got though today, so yeah, sorry about the sounds and everything else there folks, yeah, I've had to, uh, change OBS's, I've had to, my stream deck isn't working either at the moment, so, <sighs> everything's all on the manuals. Have you picked this game up yet, bud? More than happy to join me if you got a copy and you want to play. I just wasn't sure, uh, what your PC was able, able to do. Not yet. It's a great little game, man. Fantastic little game. And there we go. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Everything's bass backwards.
trying to use the joystick at the same time with this and uh, I'm slowly learning how to be discombobulated. <laughs> Yeah, it's time that we started working on some campaigns though as you can see we're level eight so between um, the single-player videos that we've done and uh, working with the boys on the weekend I was able to uh, get that far in game so if you watched the uh, the earlier video today you'd see that uh, I got all the bulk materials one on crane one on viscosity I think uh, concrete viscosity and the other one or oh, the other three points were on what were they on oh yeah uh, making more money per job that's right you gotta get that cheddar the i5 the i7 and the amd <laughs> your main computer man your baby that's the one you gotta worry about One thing about this Logitech flight stick, it does not like my, uh, I have one of those desk mouse pad things. It's just massive. It's about, I'd say 24, about 30, 32 inches long, something like that. And, uh, yeah, the Logitech flight pad likes to just fly around on it. likes to just, um, slide all over when you're pressing forward. Moving back's not too bad, but pressing forward is, uh, it likes to slide all the way up to the front of my desk. <laughs> no, stay here. I need one wheel on, or one hand on the wheel. I can't put one hand on the bottom of the base to hold it still. Farm Sim PAC is the i316 Gibbs. With no mic capability. Ah, gotcha. So not bad. We're at 60% already. So I thought it was going to take a little bit longer than that for the size of this area, but uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh man, that's, that's a pain in the butt. Doesn't register any microphone you plug into it? Brutal. But yeah, hey, I'm having a problem with my microphones, or my, uh, my camera, so. <laughs> Every PC's got its hiccup, I guess. Sixty-three percent. Now you're wondering why I'm just going back and forth, back and forth like this? I don't know. I could be turning around like I did at the very beginning, but this just seems to work. Oh, there's the barrier. Found the barrier. Yeah, so I have three different ways of changing the sound. I can go into uh, the system sounds, I can go into the game sounds, and I can go into the OBS and change all the sounds there. So I already got OBS down as minimum as possible, so then after that I went into system sounds. Oh, I got I got up. here make a dozer blade straight I said make it straight I'm gonna see if we can knock down this bigger hill here first
Let's just start over here again. Push everything over. Uh, is the AMD 12 gig and 1650 zipper going to use when you're on Discord or Xbox Mark Chat? Gotcha, gotcha. I put the bigger CPU or GPU in hers because it has the MDA 74 CPU. I think that's what it is. It's smaller than the AM4 socket. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So you just mixed and mingled your parts so that way they would work up. They'd work together. I see what you did there. You took what you had and you made it work. Ingenuity at its finest. That one I did on purpose, that one I... Like, yeah, 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 don't, don't rotate when I'm trying to go. They're all the old office PCs? Gotcha. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Seventy-eight percent. That's not bad. There are probably a couple high spots that we'll have to go back and run over. Do a perimeter around the edge. anything down on that. We went to 77 and about to 78. Not sure what's up with that. May I tell you, in this game, well done. Well done. Um, especially, like I said, they, they've got to have the Logitech dev pack in order to get everything to work as well as it is. So, good on them. Glad that they uh, spent the money and purchased themselves out the dev pack. It's either that or they're on the, uh, you know, depending on how many copies you sell is how much that you've got to pay Logitech for the service. So, I don't like that system. I much prefer the system where you buy it, you own it, it's done, you know. But Epic and Steam and Ubisoft, they've all gone on to this, you know, pay-to-play model, and I'm not a big fan of that model at all. Not a fan at all. Twelve hundred watts. That's a lot of power, man. That is a lot of power. I mean, I thought I was kind of crazy when I had. I think I'm not sure what mine is. I'm pretty sure it's it's the eleven hundred or a thousand. I know it's at least a thousand. I just don't remember what it was. I got the thing like over. Well, this is the third PC it's in, so it's got to be at least. 16, 17 years old. Yeah, my first gaming rig I bought as a pre-built and the dang thing didn't even last me three years before it burned out. The only thing that was left in it that was any good was the actual power supply. That's the one I'm using right now. Um, so then I was like, all right, I'm building my own PC. So I put in dual AMD cards. I think they were the 7970 series. So that tells you how long ago that was. It was been a while. It has been a while. Been a while. pin power connectors and it's the only PSU you have to run it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like I said, making do with what you got. Nothing wrong with that. Now I want to go this way. With my blade and try to catch that side. And while we're here. Uh, a couple spots that are all red. Not 17% worth, anyway. Ah, oh, what the fl- 
lock. Seven percent, thirteen percent, and this place is almost all green. Hmm, that'll be interesting. See if we can find it. Probably take longer just to find that last little bit than we would for doing everything else that we've done so far. You would have thought, like with that, getting rid of that little lump, it would have done more than 1%, you know what I mean? along the uh, outer border here we can get cleaned up uh oh night time now let's get everything all set up oh, okay why aren't you lifting there we go you're king of the hucklebuck <laughs> hey man nothing wrong with being uh, having ingenuity in your in your life you know what I mean Nothing wrong with that. So is Eden working today, the poor thing? Hopefully she's getting uh, as much rest as possible. She is. She's at her mom's today? Gotcha. Hanging with family. Nothing wrong with that. She's off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays now? My God, that poor girl. Her schedule gets so fluttered around all the time. I mean, how are you supposed to, you know, have a life when, you know, the work is constantly, constantly changing? Hold on. I want to change the setting on that. It's backwards for me. All right, settings. Controls. Uh, I'm looking for the Logitech 3D Pro. Going for the dozer. It's here. Trust me. Uh, okay, so up, down. That's right. This one here. So the rope from here. I want to go right. And go left. All right. That's better. That makes way more sense. Okay. That was messed up. Captain Caveman's doing really good. He had a really good weekend with his mom this weekend. Um, I talked to him for a little bit. And, uh, they did a movie night. They went out for dinner. So he got some time with mom. She's a workaholic. Work comes first over everything almost. So It was nice to see that... Uh, her and him got some time together on the weekend. But yeah, what the heck? Okay. 
big hand. I palmed the steering wheel apparently onto the buttons. But yeah, no, she's. Uh, if you all remember when uh, we were married, there, that uh, yeah, it was. It's always work, 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 and more work, right? So, just the way she is, who she is, you know, work above everything else in life. So she gets home between 6:30 and 7 o'clock at night. You know, by the time they make dinner, he has a shower. He's off the bed. And he doesn't really get to see her all that much. He's he's being raised by strangers, basically. And as we all know, my feelings on that. I'm not happy. So, hopefully, hopefully everything goes in my favor for courts now. <laughs> That's what, maybe 3% of the time guys get to have their kids full-time with the, the courts? Because of the uh, absolutely biased and... Uh, gender inequality of our court system when it comes to kids. So, but I have more than enough um, love in my heart to, to fight for it. Uh, I work with plastics, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays off, and then work the weekend. And it flipped. My god, that's nuts. Mike! How's it going, man? Taking five minutes from the, the packing up routine. Ah, I just hope that uh, you don't get affected by any of the uh, nasty hurricanes that uh, rip through that poor state. That poor state of Florida is uh, it's a mess. Now I know that you know living in South Carolina, you've had you know you've got your experiences with the hurricanes and everything, but still, ah, can't we all just get along? Come on, weather. See, we're at 90. Now we're down to 89 again. Like, come on. This game doesn't know how to make up its own mind. Up. Rotate. Back up. 180. Let's just go this way for a second. Turn on. Come on. Too much turn. So this is what I like this dozer for. It doesn't have the tilt up and down on the blade, but it does have the tilt left and right. So. Uh, that's, uh, that's what I like it for, is doing this type of stuff. Hey, we're at 91%. Nice. And to all those awesome and amazing people who hung out with us this weekend, you're awesome and amazing. Thank you. We had a ton of fun. Didn't we, Mike? Nobody even got shot in the back. I know. Must have been disappointing for you. Down to 90%. Come on, game. hearing from outside is wow 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 there's a gentleman riding his uh riding lawnmower riding down the street <laughs> interesting okay buddy you need to put a slow moving sign on that to make it legal <laughs> It was an awesome time this weekend, Mike. Totally agree with you, my man. This weekend was awesome. Derek! How you doing, my man? How you doing? 
like I said, I'm opening up the game to the community while we're doing live streams and that. So if you want to join in, just jump into the Discord. Well, let me know on stream first, then jump into the Discord, and then I'll get you all set up with the passwords and uh, the, the, the service in order to get you in here. Take a look and see. Yeah, like everything's pretty much green. They're really red. Green, 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 green. playing this on hard so I quite expect that uh, it's not going to be easy ah you betcha oh you're working today Derek ah well thanks for being here don't get in trouble man don't get in trouble uh, it's the last thing I would want to hear is you know any member of our community you know lost their gerb because they were uh, they were watching a stream while they were at work and that's you know, not allowed at their workplace type deal so definitely don't get yourself in trouble on my accord, guys. Do not. I would feel like an absolute and total heel. You know, it's like, oh, how dare I provide such amazing content that you're willing to get in trouble at work? <laughs> no get in trouble at work, bro. Not over my... Not over me.
Dang thing working. Jeez, come on. Okay, so I just redid my microphone. I uninstalled and or I uh, took it off OBS and put it back on. Can you guys hear me now? How about now? Welcome back. Yeah. Okay. So OBS is having a ton of issues here, folks. My deepest apologies. Like I said, camera's not working. There's a bunch of stuff that's not working on my game here, or on the uh, on the the live streaming end of things. My apologies. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what happened there. It just stopped receiving information from my mic. My uh, mixer, uh, my Go XLO mixer is bouncing around, no problem. But yeah, my mic. Uh, mixer on OBS is not moving at all. But if you guys can hear me right now, you guys, okay, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, <laughs> I got the case of the Mondays, folks. I got the bad case of the Mondays. All right, so we're doing job one C. We'll do those two first. Ah, uh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm not getting any reading on my OBS for my mic auxiliary right now. It's working on my Go XLR, which is what I've always used to tell me if things are working or not working, so. Okay, so we got the two rebar meshes. We need two, two, and one. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. We should be able to get it all on here. And one of these. Not enough space. Why? Why is there not enough space? Uh, let's see. Let's go back over to the catalog. Try removing Yule. No, no. I said remove. And we'll try that and see what happens. No, still nothing. Okay. All right. Uh, back over here. Put you there. There's more than one way, skinny cat. Okay, yep. Yeah, so, yeah, no, I, I deeply apologize, folks. Like I said, I'm having some major OBS issues and everything else. Like I said, it's the case of the Mondays. All right, so it wants all the goodies over here. This we can do. Cam's not working. Uh, microphone cut out in the middle of the stream. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I gotta go to uh, Walmart after uh, stream here today. I need some groceries. So, hopefully the uh, bad luck ends at the, the end of stream. <laughs> I really don't want to go to Walmart and have bad luck. Yeah, so I don't know what caused that to happen. Like I said, the OBS this morning was like, no, I'm not going to do anything for you. Like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? You're not going to stream? You're not going to do, you're not even going to open? And then Stream Deck is like, no, I'm not going to work with OBS. I don't like OBS today. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. Can I ask what just happened there? Did I accidentally hit A and X at the same time? Wouldn't be the first time I've accidentally done that. That thumbs. I used the controller for the pallet work. Yeah. Well, and it's also Caveman's birthday this month, right? So. I got to do the dad thing and uh, get him stuff for his special meal and everything. I already got him his gift, so not going to say it on stream just in case he watches back what it is, but uh, I'll tell you this, he will enjoy it and he will have lots of fun, lots of hours of entertainment with it.
Might not be exactly what I wanted to get him, but it is something that I know that he wants. So it's, you know, just as good. Stand in. Come on, knuckle in. Knuckle in. It's the thought behind it that counts. <laughs> Oh, what I want to get him would be a huge surprise, but uh, what I end up getting him is something that I know <coughs> he will love. You know what I mean? But uh, what I want to get him is way too flippin' expensive. And he wouldn't be able to use it until next summer anyway, so. It's kind of, yeah. The item that I got him will do uh, year-round playing with, but the other one's more of a spring, summer, fall. Can't use it in the winter. And winter is coming. Whew, that was close. For a second there, I thought I was going to go into that sandbag area. It's not. Okay. Good. We need some more crane speed uh, perks going on here, GG. This is uh, awfully slow. Oh, lift. Thank you. Yep, paddle tires. Yeah. I know that time of year. In yeah, mud and muck. But yeah, probably in the next, I'd say, two weeks, we are going to have a bunch of snow on the ground. So uh, I can count on one hand how many times we haven't had a dump of snow before Halloween. So. And it's actually been in the last 10 years. <laughs> We've had more non-snowy uh, Halloweens in the last 10 years than we did for the previous 35. Yes, there is such a thing as climate change. However, we're not in a climate crisis for Christ's sakes. If anybody does their homework when it comes to the climate, and I mean seriously does their homework, you will know that we are not in a climate crisis. The climate has always changed, always. <laughs> it's not something brand new you know what i mean oh man rooster tails oh we used to have so much fun when we were kids so i had uh well my dad had a 490 uh yz that my brother now owns my dad's you know a you know, senior so he doesn't need to be ripping around on the bikes anymore his bones are pretty frail um, but yeah, so I, my dad would ride on the 490 and shoot up a rooster tail that goes up in the air. And then I would ride underneath the arc of his rooster tail and me on my uh, 250 would send a rooster tail that my younger brother would ride under that arc. And we have a couple pictures of you just see these three bikes ripping down with, you know, two people driving underneath rooster tails. We had so much fun as kids. I mean, we were always so dirty coming back from uh, our, our our weekends. <laughs> we were just a mess. Uh, we need to get gravel or sand. I can't remember. It'll tell us when we get here. Thirty foot rooster tails. Oh man, the fun days. The fun days. I can't believe I've been streaming for an hour already. That's crazy. This game is just so much fun, and we're only at sixteen percent. Ooh. Uh, we're at this location, so if I remember right, everything's down here. We gotta grab some gravel. And then later on, it's gonna ask us to get soil and then sand. Soiled and sand.
85? Huh. I, I, I think his is an 82. Um, but it's the one that was outlawed from doing uh, motorcycle races because it killed over like 25 people. It's just ungodly, unbelievable, ridiculous power. Just... Uh, he's... My dad, I remember the... So my dad got the bike from, believe it or not, a motorcycle racer who had gotten killed on it. Um, the uh, widow basically gave it to my dad for a case of beer just to get it the hell out of her uh, her house. She didn't want it anywhere near anything, you know, just reminded her too much of uh, the accident. So uh, my dad got it for a hell of a deal, like, like a case of beer, like that was it. But it didn't run. The front handlebars were all sorts of jacked up. Um... What else was there? Uh, oh yeah, and the uh, front forks were all bent to hell. That's right. So he replaced out the forks. Um, he took it out for his first ride. Literally blew the muffler back like 60 feet when he revved it up and cranked on it. It just went boom, blew the muffler right off of it. So my dad went out and bought another manufactured muffler. Uh, that lasted, I think, four weekends. Yeah, it wasn't even like two months later because we, we, we'd go out and have fun every other weekend. Um, so that lasted uh, yeah, two weekends of riding. Then that one blew apart. So my dad got pissed and he went and built his own muffler. And that thing lasted for 20 years. And uh, when my brother bought it from him, uh, that's when it finally, it finally blew completely off with my dad's muffler so my brother went out and bought what's called the reinforced muffler for this particular machine because I guess it was a known issue and uh, yeah that was uh, it was interesting so now my brother's riding it around and he loves it my brother's been riding it since he was like 12 13 the moment he could touch the ground on it he would take off on it now <coughs> uh, for me um, how to explain me on dirt bikes? Uh, my brother calls me crazy smart. I'm crazy, but I'm smart about it. Uh, my dad just shakes his head and he's like, you're gonna get yourself killed. And <laughs> now that was when I was younger. I'm not 18 anymore. I'm not throwing the bike around, hitting 25 foot jumps, you know, doing tabletops and stuff. But uh, yeah, I was the stunter in the family for sure. Garston, hey -o! how are you? How are you? How's your evening going so far? I hope you're doing well, my man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, like I said, the game is open to the community. If anybody wants to join in, just let me know. Uh, then go into the Discord. I'll get you the password and uh, the game name and all that. And get you in if you want to join. We're just having fun. We're just goofing around, having fun. Working on the challenges. So I am, every time I stream this game, it is going to be open to the community, folks. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for uh, for that. I don't know if I'm dropping anything anymore, am I? It looks like I am now. Yeah. I'm going to try to flatten that stuff out and see what I can do with the dozer. See if the dozer will help spread that gravel around. It just takes forever. Yeah, I gotta go to Walmart. I'm out of hot chocolate powder and I'm out of milk. I'm out of corn dogs. <laughs> corn dogs is basically uh, my lunch. I haven't been uh, eating lunch for many, many, many years, but uh, as I'm finding I'm getting older, uh, I, I like lunch. So I just throw two corn dogs into the toaster oven, call it good. Then I have my, my late night meal anywhere between 8 p.m. and midnight my time. And yeah, I know that's the reason why I've been gaining weight. Because I've been eating twice a day instead of... Uh, I've been doing uh, the keto diet since... 
I was like 16, I think it was, where you only eat one meal a day, but you can eat like a massive amount. That's, that's how I used to run things, but the, over the last four or five months, I've been kind of getting hungry during the day. It's old age, I guess. He jumped in and he jumped it and when you land you snap the back rim. Oh my god. How did you do that? I know the one that my brother has is just the rims are beefy. Like they are heavy. But they are the original rims. Well not the original rims. They used other racer rims that uh Jeff the first owner of the bike could put onto it. Big heavy duty gold rims. big game haven't uh, not tried it yet gotcha yeah no I figured you know it's time that we did a, a community game it's been a long time since we did TNT um, that's my that was back in the day when we were doing ATS trucking Tuesdays and Thursdays and then in caveman was born so that goes back now seven years <laughs> we really haven't had too many community games to play so I was like you know what we got I got I got a game here that the community can join in so do it Let's do it. Let's open it up. So, forewarning. Nice. Yep, that bike will definitely climb it. Definitely will climb that. And very likely to throw you off while doing it. No, I liked uh, the 250. I completely blew the engine out on that after about two years of uh, hard riding. And then uh, I picked up a, uh, what was it, the, a Yamaha MX-175. That was an 87. And uh, she wasn't as powerful, but she still had enough snot for me to uh, do all the stunts and everything else that I was doing back then. Oh, I remember my mom. I hope you'll be doing that unless you have protective gear. You don't have protective gear, so you can't be doing that. Next week after that, I had full protective gear. <laughs> like, okay. I used all my monies from, uh, from fixing bicycles. And I bought myself uh, arm guards, leg guards. I had the chest protector. Uh, well, it was a chest protector and a back protector uh, style jacket. I just remember my mom and her rump. Really don't like it when you're doing that. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. Having fun. Oh, too much, too much, too much lift. Slow the lift down. And now it starts pouring out. I just don't understand that. See what we can do with that dozer. See if we can smooth it all out. Nice. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what my brother's got all in that thing, but uh, he's he's fixed it up. He's restored it as he as he calls it. And he loves it. He also has a GSR 500, something like that too. My brother loves motorcycles, so much more than I do. I mean, I enjoy having fun with it, but at the same time, it's not the end all be all to my life. You know what I mean? Yeah, 
I knew that was going to happen. Come on, back it up. Thank you. That didn't do anything for spreading gravel, dang it. Lifting up, and yet it's not going. There we go. Uh, turn, 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 turn. Cops out at 98 mile an hour. Um, my dad's buddy buried his speedometer, and his speedometer went up to 185 uh, kilometers an hour. And my dad was still. He's like, yeah, no, there's still more power in here. I just, I'm too chicken to go any faster. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't blame you. Going 185 kilometer an hour, and uh, yeah, on dirt roads. Yeah, I'd be a little, uh, a little scared too. We go any faster. I mean, not to mention, you know, using them on the farm and everything else to, you know, run wheels, move cattle and stuff like that, right? But uh, the most fun I had on the bikes was, you know, going out there and stunting up in at the cabin and stuff like that. Because we had so many hills and, and that at the cabin. Ah, those were the days. Those were the days. See, this gravel is just not spreading out. I don't understand. They need a spread feature on the uh, gravel trucks. That's my conclusion. Needs to have a setting where you can go change mode, spread. And then it just automatically, you know, does it so you can just drive it a nice slow PTO style. Well, that's as much as I'm going to get done, I guess, with the... Didn't do anything. What a pain in the arse that is. 108 Octane? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what my brother and dad uh, put in there. I know they do an additive in the fuel tank, but... It was never... Never the thing that... You know, I, I really wanted to drive ride, right? So my brother and dad, they really enjoyed it. And I was like, yeah, I'm happy with my 250. And in the end, the 175. And then after I started noticing that I was no longer really able to... Um, well, the more... Uh, I was getting more and more spasms in my legs than that, right? My arms and legs and everything, so... It's like, you know what, one of these days I could spasm on my arm just as I'm up in the middle of a jump and I could land wrong and that would be the end of me, so. Ah, that's when riding became more of a, you know, more of a cruising style type of type of ride. Suzuki's, um, no, sorry, Honda Swift. 82, 80, 82 or 83, I can't remember anymore, that was so many years ago. But, uh. Needless to say, I decided that yeah, to be to be safe and live longer, I uh, gave up my motorcycle license. I surrendered it so that way I wouldn't uh, do something stupid one day and get hurt. The now ex-wife was, uh, you know, very proud of me at the time. She's like, you gave it up willingly. I never thought you would ever do that. You just, you know, it's been your, you know, the one thing that you do every time you go to, out to the cabin or go out to the farm and all that. You know, the first thing you do is you jump on a motorbike. 
Yeah. No more road riding, just on the farm, moving wheels and stuff. The Honda 200 motor? Gotcha. Now, I've never really done anything with motorbikes for, um, like, uh, swapping out engines or anything like that, other than going from a Yamaha engine to a Yamaha engine. I've never done, like, a, a, a Honda and a Yami or anything like that, so... Always done like for like type deal. Each time you level up, you receive a point that you can use to improve your skills. Cool. Yeah, the cruiser was fun. You seeing this? There you go. It was not letting me lift up my my tailgate. It was like, no, you cannot pass. You shall not pass. Wait, is there a mode? Yeah, see, there's no mode on here. There should be a spread mode. Just saying, quality of life depth. Fix your stuff, because this is ridiculous. There should be, if they're going to be making us do a ton of spreading, they need to be uh, giving us the opportunity to, uh, or the tools, sorry, to do it. To do it properly. This. This is kind of, this is, oh, this is lame. <laughs> what I'm doing right now, this is absolutely lame. I should have a, you know, change mode, PTO, and then you start and stop your gravel spread. Quality of life. Quality of life. yesterday okay so i found out yesterday um this menu here you can go fill up and then there's the empty over here i did not know that i did not know that at all i was like oh learned that when i was playing the bone yesterday i was like well that is cool because i was always taking it to the uh gravel pit always in order to unload I mean, like, right now we have a maximum speed of 5 kilometers driving forward and back. But, yeah, I would like to see, like, a, a PTO mode put into that uh, radio menu. So that way we can make this a lot better. Oh, pick off. You get close to the end, apparently. It's like, no, you can't unload, so I'm just going to change your settings on how you had everything on your truck. Instead of just not dropping anything <laughs> no don't do that seventy nine Yep, sorry about that, folks. I'm trying to uh, keep you guys as entertaining with keyboard. It seems dump truck does all or nothing and ends up with huge piles. Yeah, and that's that's what I mean. They need to uh, revisit the uh, the dump truck and give us a spread feature. Um, they have all these modes for all their other machines, so why didn't they finish it with this particular machine? I don't understand. Doesn't make sense to me.
but then again you know a lot of these companies can't hire guys with a lot of common sense because then they would actually have to pay them a decent wage that's one thing i'm still to this day really disappointed with when it comes to game development that the programmers the guys that actually go through that study you know the game theory and everything else you know they actually do a you know do their due diligence they go to school they want to make sure that when they do a game they make the best game possible those guys get paid the lowest amounts it's sickening quite honestly it's quite sickening it hurts my feelings when i hear how much you know a lot of these developers get paid when they're in a uh, a larger atmosphere it's not like when i was working they got paid okay money like it wasn't the greatest but it was, you know, well over the the minimum wage. So, I mean, you know, the guys could have, you know, you know, they wouldn't have two brand new cars at home, but they could have, you know, one brand new car and another vehicle that, you know, is five years old and still be able to buy a house and get groceries and, you know, not eating Kraft macaroni and cheese every day. They weren't getting rich, but, you know, they were able to live and live well. Okay. Yeah, no, I've got to say it's been so many years since, uh, wow. Wow, I haven't ridden a motorbike since Captain Caveman was born. Yeah, it's been that long. Actually, it was about a year before he was born was the last time I rode a motorbike. See, and then it just drops my damned, no, 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 and more no. No, you do not automatically move equipment on no 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 game design 101 wrong <laughs> you should just come up with a menu and it doesn't pour you don't mess around with the guy's settings for when he's trying to spread no bad bad dev bad 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 <laughs> ramen noodles oh i can't do noodles man I, I i have a gag reflex when it comes to noodles i don't know why but um yeah, noodles and I do not get along. I I eat noodles but once every five to six months, and it's usually the uh, egg noodles, so I make like beef stroganoff. But uh, yeah, no, no, me and noodles are are not good. Yay, we're done that. All right, clear the construction site. All right, I'll do that. Yeah, no. Devs, please give us a spread gravel feature and get rid of that. Oh, you can't unload here, so I'm just going to drop your trailer on you. You got too close. Like, no, wrong, bad. Bad developer. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, uh, I need to enter. We need a soil compactor. And we'll go with the cat. And we'll purchase someone else because it's only $90,000. Oh, one sec. Gotta sneeze. Oh. Oh, I feel better. All right, so let's get this purchased. Did I just buy two? Hold on. No. Yes, I did buy two. S Dang it! Uh, I hate when I do that. Okay, uh, jobs. No, company. Vehicle fleet. Can I sell this thing back for 90 thousand? 60 uh, Dang it! We lost some money on that dang thing. My bad. My bad. The sneeze blew my mind. <laughs> Completely confuffled my brain. Don't get old, folks. You'll get brain farts like this all the time.
Oh, you like getting the noodle nest and adding the beef bowl onto it? Nice. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but my body has a wild gag reflex when it comes to it. I'm not sure why. It does not like it at all. Same with Jello. It, it's the weirdest thing. I put Jello in my mouth and it just. <laughs> like, what the hell? Okay. Oh, all right. Interesting. Yeah. Let's try that again. You know, try to take another mouthful of Jello and. <laughs> just my body just spits it out. There's nothing I can do. It's just the weirdest feeling in the world. My body just. Great content, G. You're talking about yakking on stream. Come on. <laughs> oh. What has got my allergies going today? I don't understand. This whole weekend. Now, I went out to the garden and got rid of all the uh, the extra, extra plants and everything that were in there. So maybe I'm allergic to something that I pulled out. I don't know. So a bit of a busy day for me today uh, and this week, sorry. I got, uh, like I said, once again, folks, tomorrow I'm not sure when I'm going to be streaming. Um, I'm getting my jaw lined at the dentist, so um, it shouldn't be too, too bad. Uh, I think they're also fitting me up for um, an overnight mouth guard as well because of the bruxism. I grind my teeth really bad. Uh, most chronic pain patients do. So uh, during the daytime when I'm awake, I can, I can feel when I'm clenching my jaw. So you just make a mental note, like, oh, no, relax, open your mouth, uh, you know, chew some gum, that type of stuff. But uh, at nighttime when I'm sleeping, I have no control. And so, yeah, I grind my teeth really, really bad when I sleep. And uh, the dentist thinks that probably has something to do with uh, how I threw my, my jaw out of alignment. is just grinding for too much at night. So they're going to try to realign my jaw tomorrow, and I think I'm getting a fitting for a mouth guard. Or a nighttime mouth guard. I had one before when I was younger and all that. Um, the, when the ex and I separated for two and a half years, I was like 20 years ago. Yeah, about 20 years ago. Yeah, we, we separated for a little bit, and the uh, girl that I was uh, with at the time, uh, she didn't like the mouth guard, and the mouth guard just kind of disappeared one day. Getting your own bag of pizza rolls. Nice. I, I make my own pizza all the time, so... Um, let's see. What do I normally eat? Uh, I eat uh, pizzas, burritos, burgers. Um, starting to get into, like, these corn dogs for, like, the last two months. I've been uh, getting a box of ten and having a corn dog every day for lunch. Um, what else have I been getting? Hmm. Lots of veggie meals. Caesars, fish. I love halibut. I love my fish and chips. I do a lot of fish and chips. But yeah, no, I like my I like my veggie gardens though. I like just flipping them and then just washing them off real fast and throwing them in the steamer right away. The freshest veggies you can get straight out of the refrigerator of the garden. Jeremy, how you doing, man? Dude, thank you, thank you. This game is awesome. Like I said, there's a few glitches. There's a few bugs. There's a few game design elements that uh, the Game Design 101 um, course would have helped them with. But overall, in the end of the time, or at the end of the at the end of time, at the end of the day, I'm having a fun time. Definitely. So thank you, thank you, thank you, my man. I hope you're having a good time with it as well. I saw that you were playing a little bit of uh, the, the farming game there earlier. I see every once in a while you pop on to uh, Lumberjack's Dynasty, so I'm glad that you're still getting your, your hours into that for fun. Um, we've completed the game now twice, Lumberjack's Dynasty, so... Now, uh, Kiddo's got his own uh, save going on that one, but uh, he'll be the first one to admit that uh, he doesn't have nearly as much fun on... Uh, Lumberjack's Dynasty as he does Farmer's Dynasty. And he told me last weekend, he's like, Dad, because we were playing that Dinkum game, right? And he's like, I think I like the farming games where I get to drive with the wheel more. So, so okay. 
Okay. No problem, dude. I can understand that totally. He loves playing with the wheel. He loves playing games with the wheel. Absolutely loves it. He's getting better. He's getting a lot better at it. He's finally learned what crop destruction means when you drive on crops. <laughs> Can't you just turn that off? No, no. Farmer's Dynasty doesn't have that ability, but. Once again, sorry for the technical difficulties throughout the stream, folks. If I all of a sudden my voice just disappears or something, let me know in chat because it's already happened once today. OBS is just taking a dump on me. It's just like, no, it's the Mondays, man. You got to have the case of the Mondays this Monday. All right. Oh, man. I've been, uh, okay, so, uh, while I've been doing all the recording for, like, Electrician Simulator and everything, um, in the off times, uh, like, when I'm not recording, I'm just doing some work or something, I'll turn on, uh, Star Trek. So, I watched all the episodes with Q in orders of appearance from Star Trek Next Generation all the way through to, uh, Picard. So, I've actually watched all those, and I just started watching the, um... Star Trek Enterprise with Scott Bakula that stars in that one and uh, I gotta say out of all the Star Trek shows that I've ever watched I kind of like Enterprise the most it's gives me the most enjoyment I so burned out bud man that was three you know Four years of every night playing Farm Simulator on Twitch, dude. That was four years of it. I so burned out on it that they need to to do something in order for to bring bring it back. You know what I mean for me? It's just I I don't know. It's so much of the same old, same old, same old that uh, you know. I tried playing 19 and. Within the first two episodes, I was like, yeah, nothing's changed. This is the exact same thing. I spent four years doing this. Uh, I, 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 need a, I, I need a change up on it. They need to, they need to uh, innovate. And that's something that uh, Farming Sim is not known for, is innovation. They take the innovation from the community and put it into the game. Your, the community is still absolutely handcuffed with what they're capable of doing because of the engine, the game engine. So. Yeah, no, I, I played so much of that game, man. So much of it. That, yeah, no, it's, uh, so yeah, this was prior to uh, me starting up on YouTube. So we did FS 15, 17, and then um, by the time we were done, so I played with uh, the group called the TMFL back in the day. So this is like way before the syndicate. Um, that's where I know Little Mac and um, Mindscape and all my OGs, all my old gamers. You know, that's, that's where I know them all from. Mysterio, Lean, Lean Dirt was in there during those times. And this was all before Captain Caveman was born. Or, well, no, it wasn't uh, before he was, uh, he was old enough to, uh, to understand how video games work. So he, he was never really around. He was a little baby. And I used to do late night streaming. Because that was the only time that I could do it. While the X was at work. Yeah, we played FS 17 or 15 and 17 for like I think it was like a year and a half of 15, and then it was like two years of uh, 17, and I just I couldn't do it anymore. Just got so burnt out, so much on it. Nice boardwalk stage complete. Let's turn the compacting off on you. Yeah, let's clear the marked area and find out what next.
They don't even do any farming? Gotcha. Yeah, I could see Captain Caveman really enjoying it. Honestly, I could. But I, like I said, I have 15 and 17 that he can go on there and mess around with. So. He's not missing out. All right, we got a poor concrete. Okay, uh, we got 455,000. Yeah, okay. Let's go to, oh, wrong button, dang it. Let's go here, we'll fast travel here. Uh, it could be much better if you had deliver planks and logs and side missions. Yeah, yeah. Once again, though, they were, you know, the, they were new to um, doing in-house stuff, so a lot of the staff and everything, you know, were more schooled for publishing. They weren't really schooled for game design. So they're learning, though. I mean, look what they did with Medieval's Dynasty. You know, they stepped up their game and, and uh, moved over to another development company. And like, hey, you guys want to do this? <laughs> so let's see, concrete pumps. We do not have cat concrete pump so let's go with this one yeah let's go with this one purchase this one and concrete mixer we'll go with the cat on that one all right where are you there you are Yeah, I just I just burned myself out so bad on that fast. It's just I hope I didn't ruin it forever. You know what I mean? But uh, I I definitely <laughs> I burned myself out bad. Let's see, how are we at for time? Oh, an hour and forty five. Huh, my legs have actually been doing all right today. Thank you, legs. Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Hot dog hotspot. I saw hot dog and I was like, lunchtime. Yeah. All right, let's see how close we can get without putting these onto our work zone. Is this going to work? I think it shall. <gasps> it will. All right. Please tell me you're going to reach all the way. Nice. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. All right. Jump over to our concrete mixer. That's why I took this go around on the community farm off so I don't burn out. Just got about a thousand hours in game so far. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like once you start tipping over 500 hours in a game, you know, unless, you know, there's really something there to really, you know, keep you peaked. Yeah, burnout comes quick. Burnout comes really quick. All right, let's go fill ourselves up with some concrete. I love having this bulk material. Oh, did we go up a level? Hold on. Hold on. We did go up a level. So we're going over to this concrete viscosity and we're going to make our lives a little bit easier. We're going to get that done. I'm going to do bulk. Before I was thinking about doing one on concrete, one on crane, one on concrete, one on crane, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I think we're going to fill up concrete viscosity first, fill up crane speed, fill up bucket capacity, then do asphalt do the repair do the fueling and then fitness finally finish it off with that i think that's going to be the order of our upgrades to the character oh what am i doing driving what am i doing we're in stream 
Now, if we're doing multiplayer and stuff like that, then yeah, well, I would go ahead and do that. But uh, for my regular everyday streams, probably not. Uh, all right, let's get that shoot lined up. No, 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 no. I want camera. Hey, camera. Camera, come on. Oh, for flop you sakes, you stupid game. There we go. So if your camera doesn't work half the time, just go into your your uh, map and then come back. And that seems to smarten it up. Seems to, anyway. All right, are we good? Why is this thing not wanting to move? There we go. Okay. Let's have a look, see, shall we? Oh, I hate this bubble effect that this thing's got. But there we go, folks. Well, that's going to be my screenshot for tomorrow's episode. Because at this point in time, I'm going to end the stream. Uh, we've been going for almost two hours here. I got to go out and got to get groceries. Uh, like I said, tomorrow, I'm not sure what time I'm going to be streaming or if I'm going to be capable of streaming because I'm getting my jaw lined. And then we'll come back again on Wednesday. So I will record another video tonight working on this. We'll get this all finished up, um, this particular uh, place all done. Then we're going to, on Wednesday, probably start a new one if I'm not coming back for a live stream tomorrow. And then on Thursday, I have a doctor's appointment where I get my information about my MRI. Now that's at 2.30. So if I do stream on Thursday, it's going to be at an earlier time uh, or later. I'm just not sure. Eh. Next game for her is Harry Potter. Gotcha. Gotcha. Actually, I would really love to play Harry Potter, but that's not coming out until 2023 now. So, but still, I would love to get my hands on that game. That looks like an awesome uh fun game uh, but yeah uh oh let me just see here if i can go over i gotta click it myself there we go got it perfect uh, there we go so yeah as always thank you so very much to all of these awesome and amazing stream members you got or channel members you're all amazing thank you ebuzz shane indigo william karsten spiderette little mac devin any 64 sam uh Reaper, Bob, Lean, Lone Crocodile, and Eden. Thank you. You guys are all awesome and amazing. Like I said, I hope you have yourself a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, good night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, if you want to join in the multiplayers and that when I stream it during the weekday with me, it's going to be open. So just like I said, get ready, jump into the discords. This is going to be going on for a little while. There's lots of content in this game. I'm having a ton of fun with it. As long as you guys still want to watch and still enjoy it with me, giving me the likes, giving me the views, we're going to keep it going. So you guys are awesome and amazing. Have yourself a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next episode.